here. Um, today my word of wisdom is to learn to read the labels of the products that you buy when you go grocery shopping. Um, I prefer to shop at natural grocers or, uh, or a health food store or sprouts or something like that. But I do have to stop in my local grocery store sometimes or I have to go to Walmart. Sometimes I'm in a hurry or I'm going by and I need to stop. So a lot of people shop, you know, just regular stores. And so I got three things that you can find most anywhere. Um, but I want to encourage people to not just read the front of the label where it might say gluten-free, sugar-free, low-fat, healthy, all-natural, farm-fresh, any of those kinds of marketing ploys. The most important thing to learn is to read the ingredient list. Forget everything else. Um, if you're wanting to buy peanut butter, this is the one I buy, Smucker's brand. Um, the ingredients are peanuts and salt, and that's it. This cottage cheese, I buy Daisy brand cottage cheese. It's just cream and salt and a culture. And this applesauce, this is best choice. I got it at my local store. And the only ingredients in it, let me read it again, is apples, a little bit of water, and a little bit of ascorbic acid, which is vitamin C. So, um, and this is a good brand of gluten-free chip if you're looking for that. But see, even if it says gluten-free, you want to read the ingredients because we want to get to where we're putting true, healthy ingredients in our body. Um, we've got too many chemicals in our food, too many chemicals that in our lives, in our products that we bathe with, uh, clean with, and then foods that we eat. We need all chemicals out. So choose ingredients that just have a small ingredient list or choose products that have a small ingredient list and um, and start there. So these are just three items that a lot of people probably buy, especially if they have children. Um, so the nutrition facts on a label are important. You know, it's good to know how many calories or, or whatever. If you're watching your sodium, that's good. But the better thing is to read the ingredients. If it has good ingredients that you know and recognize, that's the product to buy. And so just little by little, switch out products that you're used to buying, switch over to something better, switch over to something that has less ingredients and more whole foods. So that's my word and my tip for today. I hope y'all enjoyed that and got something out of it, and I hope you'll be encouraged to try something different. And if you have other questions or you would like to know more, just be sure and uh, message me here or comment, and I will talk to y'all next time. Have a wonderful day.